Hi, welcome back. So, do you like Korean spicy foods? And do you happen to have one of these instant pots at home? Or really any pressure cooker? Because then this recipe is for you. So, I'm about to show you how to make Korean spicy chicken stew using a pressure cooker. All you need to do is prepare the ingredients, and all the heavy lifting will be done by our pressure cooker. So, let's go and see how it's done. Okay, so let's have a look at the ingredients first. I have a whole list of vegetables here, but I mean you can always customize to your taste. I just wanted to show you how I would prepare this dish. And for the sauce, I really like to keep it simple. And from here, if you want to adjust the spiciness, you can play around with the amount of chili powder. Okay, so for the meat, I'm slicing in chunks of one bite size. It's gonna be pressure cooked, so if it's too small, it will break up into bits and pieces. And if it's too large, the flavor wouldn't get into it. For the potato, again, I'm dicing it into decent sized chunks because if they're too small, they'll disappear into the stew. And same thing for the carrots or the baby carrots that I have today. And same for the onion. For the garlic, because we're gonna pressure cook for half an hour, we don't have to dice or slice it. And lastly, this is the spring onions. I am slicing the stem part of them to put in the stew and for the leaf part, I'll leave them till the end to use as garnish on the top. Okay, now for the sauce. Firstly, I put water, followed by soy sauce, and this is mirin, which is essentially cooking wine, and the one that I'm using is something that looks like this. Next up is chili powder, and sugar. And as you can see here, Actually, there's not so much liquid, and you might be wondering if I'm really making a stew here. But trust me, all the water and juice is gonna come out of the veggies, which will make you a delicious and flavorful stew for you. And since this will be pressure cooked for a while, you don't have to worry about mixing them too well before heating them up. Actually, just mixing this much will do the job just well. Okay, now to the instant pot, which will do all the job for us. The instant pot setting that I use is pressure cook at high pressure and 30 minutes of cooking time. Yes, it's that simple. Just don't forget to make sure that your valve is in a seal position. This mistake is more common than you think. And after the long wait, your Korean spicy chicken stew is done. Whoa, it's still boiling here. And it looks perfect. It already smells good and can't wait to try it. Okay, let me try this now. Mm. The meat is delicious. It's slow cooked, so it's tender. The flavor is all inside. Mmm. And this is the potato. Mmm. The potato is all squashy and it's full of flavors. And same with the carrots, I believe. Mmm. This is so good. It's, it is quite spicy. If you don't want it to be too spicy, then you can always reduce. Or if you want it more spicy, then you can increase the amount of chili powder that you use. And it tastes great. I hope you can enjoy one of these. So that's it for my video. If you liked it, please, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be uploading a lot of Korean cooking stuff. So thank you for watching and bye-bye.